This new Leonardo AI update is incredible. This is incredible. The fine-tuned models they continue to release to us just makes their app the best go-to website for AI image generation. And what makes this update so impressive is that not only did we get a new fine-tuned model, but there are also other small little additional updates hidden inside this big one. So I'm going to show you exactly what those are in addition to an amazing prompt generator that you're definitely going to want to try and use for this new update update specifically. So this new update is called Lightning and it's an impressive one. Before I show you this prompt generator and the power of Lightning, let me first show you all of these impressive new features that are included. So now let's first head over to Leonardo AI's X page and you can see here is the released update right here. Check this out. A faster text to image generation that keeps pace with your creativity, compatible with all XL elements and image guidance options. And then here it is on their Twitter page, why you'll love it. Imagine creating a batch of 4X full HD images in just over 10 seconds. Lightning XL offers significant speed gains with minimal impact on quality. Lightning XL models streamline computations delivering high-res content faster than its predecessors. So apparently there are two important takeaways with this fine-tuned model to think about right away. Number one, it's going to generate images much faster. And number two, it's going to take less tokens to create your images. As part of this release, we're introducing two models, a generalist photorealistic model called Leonardo Lightning XL and our very first anime specific model, Leonardo Anime XL. So did you see that? Not only are we getting one fine tuned model, but we're also getting a second one to generate anime images. So it says it drastically reduces render time with job speeds increasing by up to two to three X. And then here is the reduced token cost. It says specifically on their blog post, generate more at less cost. So that's incredible good news because we know generating all of these amazing images can really take a lot of tokens off of your allowance. And then we have two Leonardo AI tips. Number one, it says, remember that you can use Alchemy V2 and image guidance with SDXL lightning models. And then number two, pretty important for best results, ensure that one side of the image is 1024 pixels in length at minimum, and be sure to have Alchemy V2 enabled. If you want more of these details specifically, or even if you're not familiar with Leonardo's What's New page, over here on the bottom left-hand side, I'm actually on it right now. It's called What's New. And on this page is where you can find all of the specific details on all of the latest and new releases and features that Leonardo AI just gave us. We already discovered how we're getting two fine-tuned models, but we're also getting a variety of new elements to try out. And so you can actually find those new elements added over here underneath minor features. So here we have my new favorite Leonardo AI element. It's called Glow Wave. Give your images an otherworldly glow. Okay, and then below that, we also have a new top five favorite of mine, CGI Noor Element. Create dark atmospheric images inspired by Noor video games. Okay, that's amazing. And then you can see, to wrap it up, we have two more. We have old school comic element. And then last but not least, we have digital painting element. Okay, so now we're over here in Leonardo AI. Now check this out right here. Let me give you a quick scroll before I go over the prompt generator. And all of these images that you're looking at right now, were either generated with the new elements or the new fine-tuned model. Here is Glow Wave right here. So this was created with cinematic using the new element Glow Wave. And then below this, we have CGI Noor. And then we have a few more other variations that I made right here. A lot of different combinations. So you could see the Glow Wave one is producing amazing results with that golden outline around the superhero or this woman right here. And you could see a lot of the different variations we're getting. It could vary so much with the combination of lightning and then the new elements. And then you could see on this one right here, another great example of how you can utilize Glow Wave, producing that nice neon lit glowing element. This was created simply by using the new lightning model, okay? And then the preset was cinematic. Now, utilizing the same exact prompt, 
I can now come over here and also try their second new fine tune model. And in this case, you could see it was created right here, Leonardo Anime XL. Notice the prompt, same prompt, beautiful woman at a gym wearing black yoga clothing. Look at this right here. This did an incredible job giving me these images. Now let's dive right into things, test these out. And what better way than trying a brand new prompt generator? All right, so here we are back in Leonardo AI. And here is the fine tune model. Let's select the Dropbox right here. And then here you could see them up at the very top, the two new fine tune models, Leonardo Lightning XL and Anime XL. Fantastic. So let me go ahead and select lightning for now. And now to the right of this, two steps over, let's now select elements. And let me quickly show you these new elements. So on this one right here, we have CGI nor create dark atmospheric images. This one right here, that's one of the new ones. Okay, let me scroll down. Look at this one right here, Glow Wave. Again, one of my new favorites. Give your images an otherworldly glow. And then two over from that one, we're gonna have Old School Comic, a detailed comic style with black outlines and deep colors. Then last but not least, on the left-hand side, we have Digital Painting. All of these are gonna work best with Leonardo Vision XL. But now let's go ahead and get started with this new prompt generator that you guys will definitely want to use. And so for that, we're gonna head over to my new Leonardo AI Mega prompts database that's going to contain thousands of prompts to use in addition to prompt generators that you see over here in this tab right now. What this actually means is a prompt generator are actually prompts that generate prompts. But nonetheless, let's head over to this new prompt generator. So I'll go ahead and click to expand it. I'm going to copy the whole entire thing and then we're going to paste it into either chat GPT or Claude. And I'll also include the prompt generator that I'm sharing with you today over here on this page right here where I'll put a link in my description. Okay, now I have this whole entire prompt copied. Now let's head over to our chosen AI. So you can see over here in Claude, I went ahead and then pasted this long prompt in. And just to give you some details on what this prompt actually does is once you give Claude or ChatGPT this prompt, the next thing it's going to do is ask you what subject do you want? So you can see Claude says, yes, I understand. What do you want your prompt to be about, your subject? And then for my first try, I just put a stunningly beautiful woman. As soon as you give it your subject, you could see right here the prompt says to provide me with five style prompts. So once I give it my subject, now look what Claude gave me. It says immediately, here are the five different prompts for the subject a stunningly beautiful woman in the specific styles. But let me go ahead and show you this in real time. And for this case, I'll select ChatGPT. I'm in 3.5. I'll paste my whole entire prompt in, and here it is right here. And then immediately you could see that ChatGPT then says the same thing. What is your prompt about, AKA your subject? And so for this one at the bottom, my subject is a powerful superhero. Let's go ahead and then send this and then look how quickly and right away that ChatGPT is also going to provide all of these prompts for us specific to the style I gave it. So now let's take some of these prompts, copy and paste some of these prompts from Claude and ChatGPT, and now head over to Leonardo AI and then see what sort of images we can create with these new fine tuned models and these new elements. Okay, now that we're over here back in Leonardo AI. Here's what I did. I'm going to do two quick scenarios just for a quick comparison to show you the power and the difference with a good combination of the fine tune model and elements being selected. So for this first one, I chose the one over here in Claw, the second prompt right here. This is a glow wave specific style of prompt. I pasted it in over here in Leonardo AI. Here at the top, you could see. Now I used Leonardo Lightning XL dynamic, but for the first one, I did not choose that glow wave element because I wanted to show you guys the difference, the massive difference you'll receive with each image. So if I click on these images right here, you could see it did a phenomenal job. The prompt generator gave me exactly what I was looking for. However, now let's generate an image and we're gonna change nothing else. We're gonna leave the prompt the same, the preset the same. The only thing this time we're changing is the element to reflect glow wave. So let me scroll to the top and you could see the images I got right away. And now this time I came over here into elements. I scroll down and you could see I have glow wave specifically now selected. And look at the difference in these two rows. So here's the first one. 
still did a good job. Now, once I have the element selected glow wave, now look at the difference I have in these images right here. Let me show you what it's going to look like if I select cinematic. But before we do that, let me give you guys a quick reminder that Leonardo AI specifically states how using these two tips are very important. So number one, it just reminds us that we can use Alchemy V2. But number two, perhaps the most important one is ensure that one side of the image is at a minimum of 1024 pixels. So that just means minimum. Okay, so now with the same prompt, now let's generate this utilizing cinematic. So I'm going to leave glow wave on, but now I'm going to select cinematic. But selecting generate up here in the top right hand corner, it actually did remind me that there is a noticeable difference in the amount of tokens that are being spent. This is a deduction of 12 tokens. That is a lot. That is a big noticeable difference. So kudos to Leonardo AI for giving us an amazing fine tuned model, but the ability to generate these images at a much lower token cost. While this is waiting, now let's head over here into chat GPT and now do the same exact thing, but utilizing a different style just to show you guys what we're going to get. Let's head over to this anime one and let's go ahead and then copy this whole thing right here. And so now we'll head back over to Leonardo AI, but check this out. Here is the one we just made with the cinematic preset with glow waves still on. And then look at these images right here. Fantastic. Here are more variations I got utilizing that glow wave command. And so like I said before, depending on your fine tune models, and your alchemy presets, and even a combination of elements where you can use more than one, all of your images will get a nice variety of different styles and looks. You can get a glow wave one that looks like this. This looks amazing combined with anime variation. Then you could also get a glow wave image that's going to look like this. And you'll specifically get this style of glow wave when you use photography as your alchemy preset. So with that said, let's go back to image generation and let's leave everything the same. But this time, let's try Leonardo Anime XL. And we're going to use our alchemy preset as anime. Okay, so the first one will be anime fine tune model an anime preset. Let's change things up a little bit. And now let's do cinematic, but still using the fine tune model Leonardo Anime XL and see what we get with this. While that's waiting, let's come back over here to Claude or ChatGPT and let's choose one for the CGI one. But first we'll head back to Leonardo AI and look what we got for the anime styles. Okay, this is fantastic. Let me select this image right here. Fantastic looking image. If I look at the prompt details, you can see that I have my prompt, okay? I have my preset anime and my fine tune model is Anime XL. And these are the sort of images that you're gonna get. Very impressive, to be honest, with this fine tune model by itself. Now, if I scroll up, notice I only have Leonardo Anime as my fine tune model, but I still selected cinematic. Looking at these images, this is the power of Leonardo AI. So look at this image for an example. I only have the fine tune model, Anime, the new one selected but I added cinematic as my alchemy preset. When I have this combination, I'm really getting the best of both worlds because by looking at this image, okay, if you zoom in, you still have that anime feel a little bit, but then it also has that cinematic style as well. It really is a combination of both. Looking at her, she definitely has an anime style to her and this one as well, but also there's those cinematic elements. Whereas over here, if I make everything anime, all these images are going to be anime 100%. So that's what I mean by the combinations you use can be very unique yet powerful. Okay, but now moving on, I have my new prompt posted in. Okay, so this time we're going to go back to lightning. And remember, this is going to be that CGI one. And we're using this one specifically right here. Okay, powerful superhero lurking in the shadows. Okay, we're going to come back over here and we're going to try this with photography. Now, two variations we're going to be using. Let's just do this by itself with the new added element, CGI Noir. Okay, we're going to do it by itself. Let's select generate. But now I'm going to come back over here in elements and I'm going to add a second element to it because these are very similar. I have my CGI one selected. But over here in the bottom right hand side, I'm also going to select dark arts. I'm going to combine two elements into one prompt. So let's hit confirm on this one. And before we do, look at the images that we just got of our superhero lurking in the dark depth shadows. Okay, pretty cool job. Now let's do the same thing with two elements combined. And then let's do it again with dynamic. 
but this time just do the new element by itself and just try a different variation to see what happens. Now check this out right here. Look at this second row or this middle row. Again, if I open up the prompt details, okay, here's my prompt and I have two elements I combined. I have the CGI one and then the dark art one and it is cinematic, okay? Look at these images I got, fantastic. The combination I used with those two elements really does give that dark vibe to it. It's very dark, very goth, that's for sure. But that is what you get when you can combine those two elements. Now, if I scroll back up, I did it again. I took off the dark art one, and now I just left on the new CGI one, just to show you the variations I can get. So it's a little bit less dark, and it is more of a cinematic dynamic feel. But now I want you to check out this one up here. So for this one, I went back over to Claude and I used this anime prompt one. Now look at this. My fine tuned model I selected was Leonardo anime, but again, I added the new element CGI. And now look at this. So you get two things. It's definitely anime, but now with that added element, I get this dark look as well. And just to show you what the difference can be, let me take off this element and then just show you. Leaving everything the same, let me show you the big difference without that element. Same prompt, same fine-tuned model, okay? I'll do it with anime, and I'm also going to do it with 3D render. Okay, now here we have it. Look at this amazing image we have right here. Again, same prompt, and now look at this right here. Remember, fine-tuned model anime, no element, but my alchemy preset is going to be anime. If I click to expand it, look at what an amazing job that this new fine-tuned model did. I mean, perfect. Specifically, this one right here. Look at this middle one. 100% anime as my main character, but notice the background where it's that blurred background, and you could still tell it's all anime style. These are amazing. And and then last but not least, let me scroll up to the top. Now check this one out. This is incredibly impressive as well. Look at these details, okay? So this time I did anime, but now I changed up my preset to 3D render. Now look at what we get right here. This is phenomenal. Now this one would be perfect to remove a background. It would remove the background perfectly on all of these. These did a great job. So remember, try these new fine-tuned models and these new elements in a variety and combination of different ways. When you combine the different new fine-tuned models with these new elements and even the alchemy presets, you're gonna get some amazingly unique and realistic looking images. But try it for yourself and let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time.